Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Ferhat, and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of plant cycle. I've placed the question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. Question number two. Which of the following diagrams shows the correct order of stages and processes in the life cycle of a flowering plant? Remember, a life cycle is a series of repeated events and there's actually no start point or end point. But if we were to start with the seed, what process must happen to the seed for it to develop to become a young plant? This process starts with the letter G. That process is called germination. And the seed will germinate to form the seedling or the young plant. And the young plant is going to continue growing and develop to become an adult plant. What features should we look out for to tell us that adult plants are ready for reproduction? We should be looking out for flowers. And the flowers will go through sexual reproduction to develop to become a fruit. What two processes must occur to the flowers for it to develop to become a fruit? The flowers must go through pollination and fertilization for it to develop to become a fruit. I'm going to use the symbol P for pollination and F for fertilization. And it must occur in exactly that order for the flower to develop to become a fruit. And why is the fruit important? The fruit will actually contain and protect the seeds and the seeds will go through the process of germination to develop to become a young plant. And the cycle continues. Let's go through the options to find which diagram shows the correct order in the life cycle of a flowering plant. We begin with option 1. Do the seeds go through fertilization to become a young plant? No, it should not be fertilization. It should be germination. So option 1 is out. Let's take a look at option 2. Do the seeds go through germination to become a young plant? Yes, this is correct. But do the young plant go through pollination to become an adult plant? No, pollination only occurs in flowers. And where do you find flowers? Are they found in young plant or the adult plant? They are found in adult plant. Option 2 is out. Let's take a look at option 3. Do the seeds go through fertilization to become the young plant? Again, this is not the right process. It should be germination. So option 3 is also out. We are left with option 4 and we know that is our correct answer. But let's just go through the processes. Do the seeds go through germination to become a young plant? That is correct. And what happens to the flowers found in the adult plant? They go through pollination and fertilization. For the flowers to become the fruit, the fruit contains the seeds and then allows the life cycle to continue. That gives us our correct answer as option 4. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I see you next time. Bye!